Hi guys, Dave KB3MNK here. I'm sitting out back on my porch. Got a nice afternoon and I uh, wanted to do a little bit of ham radio this afternoon. The bands aren't doing so great, so uh, a good method to try just to uh, shoot some electrons out there on the airwaves is uh, the WSPR protocol, which stands for Weak Signal Propagation Reporter. Um, I'm using a uh, MacBook Pro running OS X uh, El Capitan. Uh, then for my radio, it's a Yaesu FT817ND with a USB, or I should say a Signal Link USB interface, and then a separate CAT cable, which is um, uh, gives me a rig control via something like either WSJTX, which is the program that I'm running to to do w, uh, WSPR, uh, and it also works with FL Digi. The CAT cable also allows me to program the radio using Chirp, which uh, I think I'll make a separate video on that. Um, so anyway, I hope you find this useful. What I'll do is I'll give you an overview of the uh, program, uh, including how it transmits and receives, and I'll also show you what the configuration options are. So stay tuned. I thought I would show you um, my setup here for transmitting WSPR using um, my Yaesu FT817, a signal link USB digital interface, and uh, the program WSJTX. So here is the main window for WSJTX, and I've been doing this for uh, a little while now this afternoon. Um, times over here are uh, UTC or Greenwich Mean Time, and you can see here these are call signs that I've received, and then here's when I was transmitting. Uh, some more call signs, and then a few more. This window here, this wide graph, is uh, kind of like the waterfall in FL Digi, if you're familiar with that. So this, this was a transmission, this was somebody else's transmission. And then if we flip over to WSPRnet.org and take a look at their map, we can see uh, a map of where my signal was received. So I'm transmitting using a 20 meter vertical antenna that's mounted on the ground and uh, I'm transmitting with 5 watts. Um, this, this mode you can transmit with even as low as a tenth of a watt or maybe even less but right now uh, the 20 meter band is fairly dead so I didn't want to handicap myself any more than I really needed to. And uh, so if we look on 5 watts I'm getting pretty good coverage here in North America up into Canada and uh, over into Europe, Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. So in Europe, we can see that on 5 watts, uh, I've been received in Ireland, uh, Great Britain here, Belgium, and Germany. And then if we flip back over to WSJT, you can see that I'm actually transmitting right now. If you look here on the le lower left. So, uh, you know, and again, if we get look back at the map, you could see just how far you can get using this. And essentially what it's doing is it's turning your radio into a beacon. Um, and uh, it's not something you would really use for communications per se, since really all you're doing is transmitting your call sign and other people are uploading spots from it so uh, it's interesting just from a purely scientific nerdy perspective uh, not really a means of communication but still pretty interesting to play with hey okay, so uh, I previously showed you how I did some transmitting and receiving in WSJTX uh, what I wanted to show you now was uh, how uh, I configured WSJTX to work with my FT817 and signal link, including uh, rig control. So here on a Mac, you'll go up to the WSJTX menu, go into Preferences, 
or you can just press command comma and uh, similarly to FL Digi when you first uh, install this after you, after you uh, start up for the first time you want to configure certain details like your call sign here and your grid location you then go over to the radio tab select your radio select your serial port which in this day and age of course is a USB port so uh, on my machine with the FTDI chipset uh, on my cat cable I'm using this one right here I have it set for 4800 baud which matches the cat port on the radio uh, data bits 8 stop bits 1 handshake there is none and uh, we leave DTR and RTS long um, empty then the push to talk me method here is cat and um, we test cat it was green so that's a good thing go to audio uh, we're using the USB audio codec, codec for both input and output and that enables it to work with the USB signal link and then optionally you can configure different transmit macros uh, reporting various kinds of logging options these frequencies are I just left these as the default so you can scroll through and see what these are and then you can also change colors if you want uh, I'm just leaving them as the defaults and then after you're done you just hit OK and that's it